Hello, this is Skyblaze here, and today is kind of a special day. Uh, this is the trailer for the or the concept movie for Tales of Crestoria, uh, the new Tales game that has been being set up for everything. It's being it's basically the new concept for the new game. This has actually been really interesting, but little thing. I haven't played any Tales games since the end of the Tales of the Rays worldwide. Mainly because I'm still a little angry at the producers, really the worldwide staff, on how they treated the game and how they handled it and what they did. Because when I found out that they did all the things that they did, I just got really fed up with the Tales series. Not with the company itself, because it's not the main company's fault. It's the people in North America that buggered it up for us. But I'm not going to play another Tales game until uh, Vesperia Definitive Edition comes out on Steam. And that's going to be streamed. But anyway, we've got the Tales of Crestoria concept movie here, and uh, I wanted to do a trailer breakdown of this, because, or I wanted to do a breakdown, because there's a lot of things in here that I caught on to that can be really broken down, and it's really, really interesting. So, I'm going to pause at uh, intervals that I feel like needs to be talked about. So let's go ahead and start. As it starts out, we've got different connections. This probably represents social media. And then you've got the red eyes. This is actually, this probably represents an evil person or something behind all the social media connections. It could also represent the brain neurons, a bunch of other stuff, but that's not the complete thing here. Now you've got, and now you've got two characters, a male and female, that are probably going to be the protagonist and the heroine of the story, uh, the hero and heroine of the story, who are running from the camera, like as in running from their life. Now you have the main character here looking at a crest in his hand. What this crest is for, we don't know yet, but keep in mind the running. And we got the connections here. Now we have the girl looking at the crest. She has noticed something and she, and right here, she looks up, notices this light, So right here is an important point. This shows the main character seeing on some sort of magical screen where he committed a murder of someone. And now the entire crowd is against him. Now we see what that crest is for. You saw the crest around everyone's necks. That means everyone is given this crest, probably by a country or it's a worldwide thing. Now what that crest does is apparently whenever a crime is committed, it disintegrates and gets embedded into the hand. Now, this explains why they're running. When that crest is embedded into their hand, apparently these autonomous drones, for them, it's a tracking device. It makes the drones go after them to kill 
whatever has this mark on their hands. Now, that really explain, explains the crest. That also explains why they are running. They are running for their life. Now you've got the field of flowers running into a peaceful situation and then jumping off the cliff is the last desperate attempt. And then the two holding hands and meeting probably it signifies that they're probably going to meet that way. They're probably going to meet running for their lives, end up meeting in the middle. Now, they're both falling. And then everything changes. So that's probably the turnabout point. Where they're going to start fighting back. And then you have this scene. This shows every character you're going to be able to play as. Usually the ca there's a cast of anywhere between six to a usually a good number, ten, sometimes more. There's, I think there's only one game that has more than ten playable characters. But yeah. This shows basically what weapons they're going to be using or how they're going to be using art. The main character is going to use a two-handed sword. The heroine's going to be a caster, gunner, lancer. Another caster, but I can't tell what type of weapon. It could either be a whip or a pendulum. And it looks like he uses his fists. And they're all red. This means that they've all been marked by that red emblem. Now why does that matter? Live, even if it is a sin. An RPG written in blood and betrayal. Basically, all that was, was, so that entire scene was a betrayal scene. Someone had, the main hero, it's pretty obvious that he did not commit that crime. Someone that had taken his image or had created that video had done that so that the hero would be marked and hopefully killed by those automaton. I don't know what they're actually going to be, but I'm going to call them automata for now. So, this here is the biggest thing. So, This is going to be a lot. I'm going to be keeping a lot of updates on this. And I will let... Well, I don't know. I'll probably let you guys know during my streams if anything else comes up. But for right now, this seems to be a pretty good breakdown of what's going to be happening in this game. So, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you guys next time.